I'm Jason Logson from Adventure-Logs.com and today I want to talk about something that Fly Surfers started putting with their new kites and that is their trim checker tool. And hopefully we can get this done before the uh, big storms start pouring rain on me. So this looks slightly confusing and there really isn't much information out about it. Uh, you can find a little bit of instructions in their online manuals uh, on their website which I'll uh, put below. But I figured that uh, today's a good day to uh, try it out and show you guys how I'm using it. And there's nothing better to use it on than my original Soul 1 6 meter. As you can see by uh, some of the worn graphics, she is well used. And I have never, ever done a trim check on this kite. I go by the practice that if the kite is flying good, there's no reason to adjust it and I've been very happy with this kite so I'm really interested to see how out of whack this kite is so let's find out so let's take a look at this new trim checker tool on one end there's a loop which is your attachment point in the middle there's a bungee section which helps keep tension on the lines also, it allows you to know the proper amount of force that you need to pull to do a proper mixer test. And that's about 5 kilos or about 10 pounds. And then at the end, you have two connection points, which you'll connect to your front and your steering line. Now once you're all connected up correctly, what I like to do is just a quick check on the short mixer test. Now with the long mixer, you really don't need to do this, but I like to do it just mostly to check to make sure that the A and Z lines are equal at this point. Also to kind of just get an idea of how far off the B and Z lines are and then you can compare it to the long mixer test. So I just do it very quickly, just to double check everything. So it looks like my A and Z are equal, which is really good. And my B and C are slightly short. So let's go ahead and see what the long mixer test shows. Now find where the black marks are in the bridle close to the foil. Remember the top one is A, second one is B, third one is C, and the bottom one is Z. Now the Z line isn't in line with the A, B, and C. So the first thing to do, again using about five kilos of pressure, check your A versus your Z. They should be equal. Once you determine that A and Z are equal, you can go ahead and just release the Z and use the A for reference. And you check against your B and C level. So once you determine how much adjustment you need, pro tip, grab a pen, because you'll use this to mark where the bridle is set now. So once you make an adjustment, if it actually makes the kite fly worse, you can easily go back to what it was. So we always start adjusting the bridle at the C level, because when you move the C level, you also move the B level. With your pen, mark the position where it was initially, Again, this helps if you need to go back to what it was previously set. Also, it's a good way to judge the distance of how much you have adjusted it. 
you can go ahead and loosen the knots to lengthen the mixer. Now remember, this is a two to one mixer. So since I need about four millimeters of correctness, what I need to do is lengthen it by eight millimeters. Now once you think you've made the correct amount of adjustment, always put a lot of force to tighten that knot up or it will shift when you're flying the kite. Flyfer says about 40 kilos is needed. I always adjust each level individually because again, when you adjust the C level, you also are adjusting the B level at half of what the C was. So that meant that if I did four millimeters on the C, I automatically moved two millimeters on B. Now C and A are equal. And also since that automatically adjusted the B level, now my B and A are also equal. And there you go. I was actually really impressed how little the mixer was off for this kite, for the amount of use and abuse I have gone through with it. I really, really like this new trim checker tool. It makes checking the trim by yourself so much easier, which is good because I don't really have any friends. It really helps reduce uh, the uh, chance of air it, with these bungees. It shows how much force you need, which is about, again, five kilos. It makes it really, really nice. I would buy one if Fly Surfer didn't already give them with the new sole too. So that's it for me. If there's anything that uh, you're still not understanding, please uh, comment below and let me know. As always, I really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. This is Jason Logson again from Adventure-Logs.com. I'll see you on the water. Thanks. And remember, always mark where your bridle was beforehand before you start adjusting it. So in case you do mess up, you can easily go back to what it was before. Definitely a pro tip.